Have you ever said something to your Korean coworker and she burst out crying? I have. My name's Terrence. I'm a software developer, personal development coach, and world traveler who's made a lot of mistakes. I taught English in South Korea for three years. Towards the end of my third year, my school renovated the English Teaching Center and we had to temporarily move to another building. As a team, we worked together to move everything, and afterwards, the English Center looked like an empty warehouse. Towards the end of the move, I walked into the English Center and saw one of my coworkers, Teacher Nami, sitting on a flattened cardboard box in the middle of the floor. She was happily working when I looked at her and said, Koji. And then she burst out crying. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies! One of my other coworkers ran in and said, Teacher Terrence, what did you do? I looked at her and responded, All I did was say the word Koji! She said, You called her what? You may be wondering, what on earth did you say? Here's some context. When I was in Korea, there were a number of homeless people, and a lot of times they sat on large pieces of cardboard and asked money from people who passed by. It was sad, but this is what I encountered. When I saw my coworker sitting on a piece of cardboard with nothing around her, I thought she looked homeless. So I said the Korean word koji, which roughly translated means beggar. I thought I was being funny and flexing my Korean vocabulary. Instead, she did not find this funny at all and showed that by crying in the middle of the room. Here's a tip. If you're speaking a foreign language, there are going to be times where you're going to try out something that is not going to work. Communication isn't what is spoken, it is what is received. There's nothing wrong flexing your language skills, but be better than me. Keep it classy. I tried to apologize to my coworker in English. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that you were a beggar, but that you just looked like a beggar given the circumstances. This apology didn't really help. Later that evening, we had a teacher dinner and all of the employees from our school got together to eat, drink, and relax. As soon as I sat down at the English teacher's table, the other American teacher at the school said to me, Terrence, what did you do to teach Anami? Dang, can't a brother get a little bit of grace? I told her what happened and that I tried to make a joke in Korean that was not funny and said, Teacher Nami is awesome. I was not trying to hurt her feelings. And then sincerely apologized to Teacher Nami in Korean. Nami something named Chongma Chezong Amnida. She accepted the apology. You have to pay attention to what you say, especially in a foreign language. Even if what you think you're saying is innocent, it might be taken the wrong way. Of course, thinking about what I said to my coworker, there really is no good way of calling somebody a beggar. So if you ever think about doing that, don't. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you want to check out my next video, click here. My name's Terrence. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate you.